What's going on Deadside family? Welcome back to another video. All right, so as of May 1st, 2020, the Deadside developers have officially released their roadmap. Now this roadmap does not include any dates, but it does let us know where Deadside is headed in the future. All right guys, so let's not waste any time and let's jump straight into what the developers revealed on their official roadmap. The first subject is of course going to be more bug fixes and optimization for the game. One of the bug fixes that they discussed was the ability to duplicate items. These items are then taken to the safe zone where players are doubling on their profits when they sell to the traders. Touching on the topic of optimization, the developers mentioned that they are currently working on a new network mechanism that will allow them to increase the player base as well as implementing other features such as vehicles. As many of you may already know, the game is limited on the weapon choices that you have when purchasing them from the safe zone or finding them out in the actual open world. And this leads us to the next point on the roadmap. The developers mentioned that they are currently working on new firearms as well as equipment models. What this means is that there will be different vests included in the game and different assault rifles. In addition to all of these things, they also mentioned adding a grenade launcher. Now this is going to be a game changer as people are going to be able to clear out different houses when there are players inside that do not want to come out. Now moving along to the rest of the roadmap, they mentioned adding industrial areas as well as underground bunkers. They also stated that once these points of interest have been added to the game, they will start slightly expanding the size of the map. For those of us that have already played the game, as sometimes we wonder, what else can we possibly do to stay entertained? This is a question that was answered in the roadmap where the developers mentioned adding plenty of new missions as well as new rewards. Along with those missions and rewards, you can also look forward to helicopter crash sites and airdrops with cargo containers that drop throughout the map. The developers also discussed issues when it comes to base interaction and private server administration. For those that have attempted to build a base while in a squad, you have noticed that different elements are not available to different squad members. Now what they're doing is they're looking into different options on how to solve it. They also said that if they're not able to find a solution, they might end up using another system. If you have your own server, you can also look forward to having an admin panel that allows you to spawn items at your discretion. All right, so what I just mentioned in all of these topics is what they are considering their main focus and priority for the near future. As far as their long term goals, vehicles and base raids are up next. Not much information was provided about vehicles other than the fact that the current map size would not work for them at the moment. When it comes to the actual base raids, they said that they did not want the classic system of raiding bases where you can potentially lose all your items while you're logged off the server. To end the topic about base raids, they also mentioned not even considering such thing as passive gameplay. Now what this potentially means is that you're going to actually have to fight to get someone else's loot instead of just waiting for them to log off. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. Please keep in mind that dates are not released along with roadmaps as this gives developers a time to focus on what they're doing and not be pressured by an actual timeline that they set for themselves. If you guys would like to read the official roadmap, I have provided a link in the description box below so that you can go over it yourself. If you have made it this far, I do appreciate you watching the video and supporting the community. If you haven't already, make sure to smack that thumbs up button as it does help us reach other players like you. Also consider subscribing as I do upload often and I also stream the game. Without further ado guys, I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video.